Hello once again. <laughs> I, I am so, so sorry for pulling you back from your networking and drinking and mingling because I know that's, that's really the heart of this event. But we do have a few more announcements. We do want to give the exciting news on the hackathon winners. So, you know, glad to be back on stage for the last time this BubbleCon and looking forward to talking you through a few things. Um, first off, before I dive in, I just want to extend a big thank you to everyone who submitted questions for the AMA, everyone who upvoted. I mean, I had a fantastic time talking to you all. It's really great to like sort of engage face to face with the community. I know some of those questions, you know, like are pretty important and, you know, cut to the core of what you all um, work on on a daily basis. So really cool experience for us to have the opportunity to, you know, really address the community live on all of these things. Um, but um, I would like to transition over to uh, talking about the hackathon, which I know is a moment that many of you have been waiting for. A week and a half ago, um, more than 300 of you signed up to spend your weekend participating in the official BubbleCon 2023 hackathon. We've always known this community is full of creative, smart, talented developers, and hackathon felt like the perfect way to celebrate that and give you all the opportunity to showcase your best work. The prompt was bubble for good. In other words, you had to build an app designed to do good on a personal, local or global level, and you delivered. We were completely blown away by your submissions and we wish we could give prizes to everyone who participated, but that's just not how competitions work. So it's now time to announce the winners. We divide the competition into three categories and one person from each will win $1,000 in bubble credits, some cool bubble merch, and maybe most excitingly, a spotlight on the bubble blog. There's one category for bubble rookies, folks relatively new to building on bubble. One category for bubble veterans, folks who have been building on bubble for more than a year. And a separate category for professional bubble developers who build apps for clients. In addition, we've decided to also give out three just for fun awards for best designs, most unique concept, and pushing bubbles limits. Because we want to highlight the really cool apps we saw in judging. First off, the Just for Fun Awards. For the best design award, the winner is, drum roll please, Chiku from Kenya. <laughs> Their app, Neutral Life, helps people assess their carbon footprint and take measures to mitigate the impact they have on the planet. Our design team thought this was a stunningly beautiful app and built for mobile first. For the most unique concept award, the winner is... Vinny from Australia. <laughs> Their app, Mind the Bet, is a gambling habit tracker that helps people see how much money and time they spent on gambling. It also shows them what the person could be buying or doing with that money and time. <laughs> K kind of harsh, but important and, and probably pretty valuable. So, you know, we, we love the initiative and creativity from Vinny as he tackled the challenge that he's seen in his local community. And the final award is Pushing Bubbles Limits. And the winner is... Andrew from the, U the United States of America. <laughs> God, sorry, stumbling on that one. I haven't heard of that country. Um, their app, Private Gallery, supports the Web3 artist community by giving them an easy tool to create a private chat and gallery experience to share their newest works. The app has a ton of great integrations with Web3 tools to create what Andrew calls friend tech for good in what he's trying to coin as the uh, low-key Web3 space. Okay, <laughs> that, that's it for the Just for Fun Awards. Now over to Emmanuel to present the official winners of the 2023 Hackathon. Thank you, Josh. Um, 
Each of these forks has built an app that uh, was holistically judged as spectacular at showcasing what Bubble can do uh, with great design and being pretty creative with the prompt. Um, and so um, in the Bubble Rookies Award, the winner is, please. <laughs> Anya from the U.S. Um, <laughs> Anya's application, uh, Double Karma, empowers individuals to contribute donations to charities, uh, which are fulfilled by local street vendors. So it's a really cool way to get win-win uh, for both the charity and the vendors. And the very interesting thing about Anya is that she's only 14 years old. So we were all, yes, yes. So we, we, when we looked at all the, and we discovered she was only 14. We were like really, really impressed. So congratulations, and I hope we see Anya on Bubble for a very long time. In the Bubble Veterans category, the winner is, thank you, Daniel from Sweden uh, for the app. <laughs> Suzy, uh, which is an AI-powered sous chef built to uh, democratize he healthy eating by suggesting unique uh, recipe and healthy recipes based on their preferences. And finally, in the professional bubble developer category, uh, the winner is Daryl from the US uh, for this beautiful design app. <laughs> Serenity is proud um, that conducts mental health, uh, health check-ins for the kids and uh, children, encouraging self-awareness and self-care uh, with mental health issues. So congratulations to all the winners. <laughs> now, Now, this is a very sad thing, and I, I generally feel sad. Honestly, I wish this could go for days, uh, but we've come to say goodbye. Uh, formally, at least, because we still have some time uh, to gather uh, and talk in, um, outside with, with some drinks, and then there is an after party that uh, we hope to all see you there. Um, but, you know, all that to say, uh, thank you so much for spending these two days uh, with us. This was a very moving moment for me and Josh, so pretty excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. I think I speak for both of us and the entire Bubble team when I say that we had the best time meeting so many of you here in the room and online. Like we said yesterday, we wouldn't be here without you. And we're so grateful for the way you support us and one another every day. We hope you're feeling as motivated and as inspired as we are and that you're leaving here with new ideas and things to try. We, we also want to thank uh, our speakers and incredible speakers and panelists who took you know, their precious time to be uh, with us and sharing their expertise uh, and advice, including a member of the bubble, guests, uh, of the bubble team uh, and our guests. So thank you very much, everyone. If you missed, missed any of the session or just want to relieve them, they'll be uh, on demand online soon. Also, important reminder, the best part is the memories, the photos, the recollections, the social media. So our hashtag is hashtag BubbleCon 2023. Please share your photos. We're looking forward to seeing all of them. Which has been very active already. I yep, saw a yep. lot of tweets. So <laughs> thank you. This is very fun to watch. Um, I mean, the, the future is bright. I think there are a lot of great things ahead of us that are really exciting. Uh, every day, each of you in this room and us, uh, who, people in this room, people who tune in from home and are helping us you know, shape the future of uh, software development. Uh, we're making technology, I think, an even greater force for positive change uh, so that more and more people all around the world can participate in it. And that's just a beautiful thing. So thank you so much. Yeah, and see you next year. Yeah.